Welcome to Good Mythical More. There's certain things that you shouldn't really ask your friend, even though they're a friend. Uh, some questions are off limits. And you kind of know that, but sometimes you need us to tell you that. That's what we're here for. Yep. But first, we're gonna play Ready Pet Go, where we look at one of your pets that you submitted with hashtag GMM Ready I Pet Go, and we pets. name it. Well, we try to guess the name. This one's from Fam Squad. Oh, look at that tongue coming out. He's like, ah, but ah. <laughs> look at little Barney. Is that that's a that's uh, a girl, a terrier of See, There's no wiener down there. Is that a Scotty? No, it's a it's a. Is that a Felicia? It might be like no, a, no, like a, a lit literal like. Isn't that the name oh. of a dog? Oh, the I don't think the breed. It. I think it's some kind of terrier. The breed. It's a, ter a terrarier. Um, Ralph. No, oh, oh yeah, it is a girl. Um, Abigail. Uh, is that your guess or do you know? Yeah, I feel like it's an Abigail. I th you think it's a human name? If so, I think it could be Tina. I yeah. think human names on dogs are very in right now. Oh yeah. yeah. But that's an older dog. Is it? <laughs> I mean. You're I... doing the whole like gray fur equals older dog thing, yeah. which Ringo gets a lot. Uh, How old is your dog? He looks so old. Ringo's what? Three? Mm hmm. Uh, Doris. Francis. Ooh, good, good, good. Doris is good, Rhett. Okay. Let's see, what Piggy. is it? Piggy? Piggy. <laughs> Piggy's a cute name. But what does that say? I mean? What are we trying to say about Piggy? Piggy, Piggy. A Muppets fan, you know? I like, she looks so cute. <laughs> I just want to, she looks I just so want to be licked by that tongue. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Sorry, uh, so, fam squad. So how are you gonna show this to us? Is this, is this tweets? I'm gonna, yeah, these are tweets. So we asked the mythical beasts, uh, you know, if they have friend issues that they need to uh, yeah, cool, cool, ask cool, you to address. Cool, cool. And they tweeted back at us. And there's some interesting responses that we, we got here. Um, let me give you, let me, let me demo one for you. This is a demo. So nice to talk to our wives. Just yeah, it was a good pick Just me middle up. of the day, little 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 de uh, little demo conversation. I was gonna ask you why Jasper was crying. If he wants to get into because he thing. wasn't in the chamber. Oh, he thing. wasn't. Or yeah, he wanted he to get out. He... I don't know. I didn't see the picture. Oh okay. Uh, okay, here is a tweet. My old roommate once kept peeled cucumbers wrapped in cling wrap in the fridge and they never ate them. When I asked what they were for, they oh. told me to forget about it. Oh gosh. Then one late night, I saw them open the fridge, unwrap one of them, and rub it on their armpits like deodorant. This is from oh. at Harold Krell. Should Harold go back and get answers from his old roommate? My mind was in a deeper gutter than that. Um, I'll just say that right up top. Because <laughs> that, that deeper yes, gutter is where you thought the cucumber was. Yes, a nicely chilled cucumber is what we're all after. That, uh, the snap ability of those things is way too high, right? <laughs> Not if you get the right breed. No, <laughs> no I, I think you're thinking a frozen cucumber. You gotta get the right breed of cucumber. I think it's got to be frozen. I thought you said brie, and like, I mean. Yeah, you got to use brie. Yeah. Okay, Rubbing cucumber, the armpit. armpit. I, I think it's uh, this is it's a natural deodorant, which is That doesn't wild. work. Wild. That it naturally does not work. I mean, you, uh, you had the bowels to ask the first question, which is why is this in here? So why not just keep going? But why did, this why are you doing that? So this isn't a confrontation. This is not a, hey, I happen to see you in action one night. This isn't telling them that, right? This is like asking a follow-up question. It's like, hey, you told me to forget about, you told me to forget about that. Yeah. But uh, actually, you know what? I saw uh, saw something on the internet where people were using cucumbers for deodorant. Is that what you do? Or how about I, that? I would have to. You'd have to keep it general. Like I saw a video on the internet where someone was rubbing them under their armpits. Is that what you do, and why? Sure. Now, you could just Google it. What is the goal of this conversation? We could Google it right now. I Googled it and it's like, you know, cucumber scented deodorant pops up everywhere. Yeah, and then a question it. that's, that's like, what's though. the best deodorant for your private parts also pops up. But that's I can't different. find just rubbing a cucumber. Brie, brie in the private part. Yeah. Okay, don't put brie. A nice room, Tim. A nice warm brie. brie. A yeah. goopy brie. Uh, goopy brie. 
Oh gosh. Um, but what? But what's the goal here? What do you? I mean, you already know what you're gonna know. You know that they use it as deodorant. Unless you, so you gotta learn anything new. It, yeah. That well, has no, to be no, 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 no. Here's the thing. They say think, and rub it on their armpits like deodorant. So it could be like. There could be like a, you know, you have a gland in your armpit and the cucumbers are cold and like you have you're. A gland? What do you mean? Yeah. Like a, swoll, it, a I'm, swollen I'm gland? I'm positive. There's yeah. glands in your armpit. I think there, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe there's some kind of. Glands love cucumbers. I don't understand I why you wouldn't be able to ask this question. But, I, I well, would because like they to. said, because they already dodged the question. And yeah, it's don't just, worry about it. I would just let it go because they basically said, "Don't ask." So don't ask. Respect their respect their r- wishes. And as long as they put them in a, a certain section of the fridge, because now that you know what they do with them, you don't want to get caught dead eating that thing in a salad. You well, know this what was I mean? an old roommate. Well, they put them back is the real question. Well, I think you can use a cucumber multiple times. No, I, I think you don't put it back. Let's see the next one. I don't think you, I just think you gotta respect, if they specifically Wait, say do not ask. Carney basically. makes a good point. It says my old roommate once, and I, and we in, we are interpreting that as a former roommate. Could could have been an, an elderly person. Elderly roommate. Person. Oh, this yeah, yeah, yeah. is, My elderly know. roommate. Yeah. yeah don't, don't put an elderly with the, person With the bad the glands. <laughs> with those hot glands that needed to get cold. Glan, hit the D in that. Okay. Glands. <laughs> I'll never forget this day in high school. I had been eating Cheetos, and I got the ever-annoying Cheeto dust fingers. I couldn't find a napkin, and my friend goes, nah, I got it. And she put my fingers in her mouth. I've literally never been so horrified, and we never spoke of it. It's from at Phantasmagor. Okay, well, there's a lot to unpack here, because if this is somebody that you were potentially attracted to, this could be a little bit sexy. But it sounds like that was at least not the case from the person whose fingers were licked, because they thought it was gross. Because um, this could have been an, uh, an overture that was not I, returned. I don't, okay, well that's, that. I get it, but I don't think that's the most likely scenario. Well, like, I don't know, I guess you're right. Either way, I just don't, I don't think it's, not talking about it is no way to go through your life. If somebody does something to you that freaks you out, but this is in the bizarre. past. This is a this is a memory. So are they gonna like call up this person and be like, uh, "Hello"? No, Remember? I I am saying at the at that yeah yeah. It's this too isn't late something now. You, this isn't something you bring back up. Hey, but you gotta you know it's like you just don't want to. Let somebody have their way with your fingers, and you never, you never get clarity on it. Like that's not, that's not, you, you have that right, and I think you should exercise it. I just don't like the idea of it's just that's just the part that's disturbing to me is the not asking. The action of licking the fingers involuntarily is just you know it's just a matter of taste, taste or comedy or something else. But the not asking is. I think is the real problem here. I think you've got the problem for Can not I asking. Lick my I'm sorry. As well? Your I'm fingers. Sorry. So right? you're, you're you're talking. You're just basically saying consent. No, I'm saying the problem oh. is the person who did who never t- spoke about it. Like, don't don't never speak about it. Like that. It's that's, still unclear. That's Link. the mistake. You're saying the person who wrote to us made the mistake of not talking yes, about it? Yes, Okay, because it sounded like you You're were in a the soapbox about, about consent this no, whole time, but I, no, 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 that, you don't care about was, that. Okay. That's what I was trying to clarify. Got it, got it, got it. I, yeah, I could, it's a worthy soapbox to get on. But I don't you feel should like, ask, if you're gonna lick somebody's fingers. Absolutely. You should say, can I, may I lick your fingers? Yeah. <laughs> it was like, hey, obviously. may I take care of that? <laughs> may I take care of that? I mean, I assumed that they were friends or something. Yeah, obvious. Yeah, don't do something to somebody without their consent. Yes, that's the big headline. I'm like beyond that because that's obvious. Okay. And then I'm to I'm I'm to victim blaming. <laughs> yeah, right. I was about, just to be clear that you weren't making the point about consent. You were saying that the person whose fingers were licked should have just spoken up. And it's like you've you've you dug two big holes for yourself yeah, here. Uh, so I think we're gonna stick with uh, I did, ask permission if you want to lick somebody's fingers. Like you're the you are the victim, but I'll. T- 
I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, here you go. Let's see what happens now. You have the right to speak up. Yes. And you should exercise it. Right. Right. I want to champion your voice. Yeah, yeah this is good. There you go. I think you, I think you still got one foot in the hole, but you got one foot out. Yeah, it's like don't. They did something to you. Don't let don't don't let them put you in a lurch where you're, you're spending the rest of your life wondering. Okay, you up. you might have insight into this one. Um, my best friend from elementary school had very religious parents, and I okay. went to her house to watch Toy Story. <laughs> And every time they said Woody's name, it was edited out. <laughs> I still don't know if her dad edited out the name Woody from the tape or what. Okay. At K. Jackson. Now, okay, I believe I know what this is. And this is going to be a little bit of a throwback memory. I'm going to see if you remember this. So, um, there was a time... In which we were contacted, this is probably, this is all, maybe almost a decade ago. To play Woody in Toy Story. <laughs> like we were gonna talk in unison. Yeah, right. Each, we were gonna be each half of him. No. And then they went with Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> we were contacted by a company that had a software that was like called Angel something. And it was a software that you could basically like stream movies through and it would, automatically censor out things. And they wanted us to be like the spokespeople for it because they were like, you guys are do, you guys do clean comedy. Put Woody in there. <laughs> and uh, and I, 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 what I'm guessing There's is that- There's a bank of words. Uh, there's a bank of words and Woody is definitely in it. <laughs> and uh, it was just, this was kind of an indiscriminate, accidental beeping of Woody. That probably changes the whole, think about the change, changing the whole like connotation of every scene with Woody in it. Hey, beep! You know, it's just like. It probably just dropped it out, but um, it didn't beep it. It might have beeped it, but I, wow. Don't you remember I'd that? I'd forgotten that. Yeah. And I think that this technology was in this home. Yes. Like, it was a service. Like, this guy didn't but, like, take the VHS and. Yeah, so, so explain to me. I just don't get how it would work with VHS tape. Because did they say VHS? Well, Toy Story, the first Toy Story would have been on VHS. Yeah. Well, but then later it Because they said, uh, I still don't know if her dad edited out the name Woody from the tape or what. And this was elementary school. Vid, Vid Angel. Let's not do a plug here. <laughs> not a sponsor, but it's, yeah, this is a thing. This is fascinating. There's also something called Clean Speak. It's a profanity filter. Uh, I don't understand how it works, but. Click on it. Click on where it says. It's 10 bucks a month. How it works. And believe me, when I say it's worth every penny. Are you reading something? I'm, I'm somebody who did a review of it. How, oh. does it, how does it work? Oh, okay. Watch the most popular shows from top streaming services with filters. So you pay a subscription. See, but I'm not asking how it works now. Because, like, uh, uh, sh sure, they figured that out now in streaming services and whatever. But, I, like, VHS tape. Like, specifically, I don't, I don't get how that technology would have worked. I mean, it could. Oh, this could, is crazy. He could have done it himself. So, like, they've got like Outlander, and it <laughs> and it shows you like the timeline in each area. Like, okay, if we get rid of sex, nudity, and, and immodesty, this is how many blanks it'll have. If we get rid of violence, graphic and or non-graphic violence, it'll get rid of this many. In language, profanity and slurs. Wow, and connect your streaming services. You can connect all these. I mean, we, yeah, we're doing an ad for this thing. Now. I mean, hey, if that's your thing, I'm. Well, Stevie, what we are proving is that there is a market for this, and it had to start with people who wanted it, and a few people, maybe this dad, who were like, "I'm going to do this myself." Yeah, I'm going to. It's edit. worth every penny. But because it's the word Woody, it <sighs> seems automatic. It seems. It seems. It like seems automatic. Because nobody's nobody's like, oh, well, kids can't hear this guy's name. Yeah. So I yeah. Think, so maybe I think they were it using was tape loosely, but yeah, maybe it was a different time. Maybe this person's like actually in middle school or something that tweeted right. at us. You know what it is? 
in the early days of these services, they outsourced it to people who in non-English speaking countries and they just have words and they're like, Woody, oh, yep. So they didn't know the context. This is someone who's, is amazing, who's manually bleeping out Woody. That's wild. I wish I had that job. Um, let's hear another one. A after we remind you about our record, w we covered Brooks and Dunn. Neon Moon, our favorite Brooks and Dunn song, and Boot Scoot and Boogie, but we did it in the year 3000. And we bleeped out every mention of Woody. Uh, so, so to get no Woody Rhett and Link sing Brooks and Dunn in the year 3000 vinyl, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. Every year we release a vinyl record, and as a Mythical yeah. Society Third Degree member, you get to add to your collection. We also bleeped out Jimmy and Dick. Yeah. Yeah. I had a friend who had a bug infestation in their house. Can happen to anyone, no judgment, judgments there at all. But yeah, yeah. they would kill them by thumbtacking them to the wall and would just leave them there. This is from at Rainbow Thought. Well, this is like the the boy next door in Toy Story. Yay! Uh, now I gotta say, sometimes I'll go into like a store, like a like a uh, like a curiosities sort of shop, and they've done just that. And they've got those really awesome pictures of really like those insects or like bot like curio boxes. Yeah, it's like museum curations. This is just museum curation slash serial killer type. Behavior, so it, it really could go either on, way. Yeah, what this person ended up doing is this person now an entomologist? I think you gotta, you know, it's like you know more about your friend than we do, and it's like you, you, you know which direction this is going. If they're like, otherwise they're like a studious, nature loving person, then it's like, hey, uh, what's this practice that you're doing here? Well, but if they're like demented and like. Yeah, it might be a sign of things to come. Yeah, you just, maybe, you, I wouldn't, you, you don't wanna ask too many questions. Just yesterday, uh, I, I was uh, taking a bathroom break, and uh, I- well, Number one I'm, or number two? Number one, and I'm walking up to the bathroom, and uh, you know, it's I see that it's closed, but as I'm getting closer, all of a sudden, the door swings open, and KG runs out like she's seen a ghost. She says, there's a bug in there. <laughs> And I was like, I'll take care of it. So KG's I, not in the room right now. Uh, right? I don't think so. So I, I go into the bathroom and it is a, uh, it's a moth. A moth has made it into the bathroom. Oh yeah? And so I was like, you know, I'm gonna number let Number one it, or number two? I, I, number one, I'm gonna. The moth? I'm, I, I'm, I begin to urinate as I see him sort of fluttering around. I'm like, okay, well I'm gonna let him tire himself out a little bit. Uh, Might perch on your twig. Go about my <laughs> twig. I, twig. I, I go about Stumpy my little my, branch. my business, and he he lands. So I, I I finish my business. Did you just like whiz up there and, on him? Like, and I'm get out. I don't have that kind of pressure anymore. But I um, I take some toilet paper and I'm like I'm gonna do. I mean, I don't do the catch and release. I'm sorry. Especially for a moth, just so you know. But a thumbtack. So I was just gonna do the bam, just the boom, boom kill, cr cr crush, throw into the to toilet. I spent approximately four minutes trying this. <laughs> this dude was so like, he, he anticipated it every time. I, I just wasn't quick enough. You know, sometimes you get like the slow moths that have been in there for a while. This was a new moth. He had, he had all the spryness. And so eventually I was just like, I gave up. Sorry, KG, I, uh, I told you I was gonna take care of it. I definitely didn't, and I didn't tell anybody about it until right now. Did anybody go into the bathroom on the left and have an altercation with a moth yesterday? Because that was my fault. But I'd be I, impressed I like if you did it with a thumbtack. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't judge you. To get the Rhett and Link Sing Brooks and Dunn vinyl, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. MythicalSociety.com for details.